Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips To Go. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to print from your iPhone. So right now I'm running an iPhone XR and let me just get into it right now. So in order to print, it's quite simple. The only thing you have to do or make sure is that you have a compatible wireless printer. And for me, my best choice recommendation is a, is a brother printer. I'll leave a link down in the description on Amazon of the printer I have. And as long as it supports the Mac AirPrint uh, feature, then you won't have a problem. Very, very easy to use. Just make sure that you're on the same wireless network as your printer is. So right now I'm connected to this John Steve network. And if I come down here to my, to my iPhone, I just want to verify that I'm in the proper settings of the wireless. So just come over here to settings, go to Wi-Fi. And as you can see, I'm on a different network. So what I want to do is make sure I connect to that one. And there you go. So now let's go back to the home page. And let's say we wanted to print this, or let's say this was a PDF or some kind of document or some kind of, maybe it was an email that you wanted to print. All you need to do is come down here, this little icon, click on it. And as you scroll up, what you can see is the print button. Now, when you press print, it'll come up with some options. Now you want to select the printer that you have and as you can see the supported printer now I didn't have to do any uh, download of drivers or anything my iPhone automatically detected that this brother L2550DW was on the same network and it had a compatible Mac printer driver and that's the beauty of brother you don't have to download any drivers on your iPhone it just sees it automatically and if you wanted more information you could click on this little icon and as you can see, it's the name, and that is it. And then all you need to do is go back, and you can specify um, how many copies, and then the pages. If you just wanted, you know, one to one, that's one single page. Or if you wanted page two of two, or if you wanted to do all pages one, two, three, or you just select all pages or pages one to three, and then after you've done that. Sorry, first you select the printer, and then once you have how many copies, um, always make sure that this is set to single-sided. And then you just select print. And that is it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to comment, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.